my name is Gautam. I am a PhD student at uh, Speech and Vision Lab at uh, International Institute of Information Technology, Hyderabad. I am uh, into the third year into my PhD. I am working under Kishore Prahalad. So my area of interest is uh, speech, audio retrieval and audio search. Uh, currently I have participated in Media Eval for a spoken web search task. The, the goal of the task is to retrieve an audio segment within an audio content and given an audio query. Uh, so the work which I have presented is uh, instead of have going for a very uh, complete phone class, I have a broadened the number of units for a phone recognizer. So instead of considering all the units, I have come to a much broader classification based on the articulators and if it is a verbal, the kind of verbal. Uh, based on whether it's high, mid, low, front, back or central. So based on those I come up from, I've used Telugu database which consists of around 50 phones to that. From 50 phones were mapped to around 22 phones. So using that as a phone decoder I was able to obtain the possible segments. So once the segments are obtained I've used uh, a sliding DTW, a variant of uh, DTW to actually obtain the time segments required in the present in that audio content. One issue is uh, initially my approach was not, uh, it wasn't articulatory features and then uh, DTW, initially it was a DTW and articulatory features. So on our numerous runs I couldn't directly use any of the scores from DTW directly to, uh, to classify whether it's a required audio segment or not. So and uh, it was also a very difficult task beforehand because it takes too much of time to compute and all so it would be those scores would be very difficult to actually analyze what kind of segments I would be requiring or not so that way it, it took me a time to understand how to actually maintain the a plan of action for the whole task and all. I have gone through the work of uh, spoken web search uh, previously also before applying here yeah. I think it's an interesting task because considering its application to the third world countries where telephone is a major electronic commodity rather than any of the internet and all. So that way having a spoken web search it would be a most viable uh, application to be available to many of the public. Apart from this I also liked uh, placing uh, uh, task, I, I think I would really actually use such kind of applications or given a set of pictures and all, it would be easy for me if it is able to locate in uh, what locations those pictures are available. The exciting part of my workshop is, it's nice to know that uh, say, um, oh, what are the techniques uh, people are using because it gives us a, a direction in which uh, how the problem can be attain, obtained and all. So it's mostly the points where the people have failed would give us a good perspective of what techniques will not be used in what circumstances. So that would be the most useful thing for us to go about. When a lot of people are working on the same task, we have an idea of that where the things would fail and where it could succeed and what points. So that would is the most helpful part. Yes, definitely. If the spoken web search task is there or something related to speech and all, I would be very much interested to be a part of. Uh, yes, I, uh, because all of them are real-time applications and all, and uh, such real data is actually hard to get. So when the data is already given, a base platform is already put to us. So it would be very interesting to actually attempt such challenges to give what kind of results we have. And uh, like I said, it would be actually be useful because we know in uh, what direction I have to be aiming at the problem and all. So it's like it will be helpful to us because the uh, experience of others will probably teach us that what not to do. Even though it's very difficult what to do. Yeah. So what not to do is probably the most important points which we get.